now we shall discuss about the peninsular plateau the major physical divisions of india we have discussed about the himalayas then we have discussed about the northern plains now we shall look into the peninsular plateau region i have given a mind map for you so that you can cover almost all the important points what we have in regards to peninsular plateau let us start from here peninsular plateau is a plateau which is like a table land when we look at a table how a land is very flat and a larger area is in the same level that land resembles the peninsular plateau so peninsular plateau is a table land and it is one of the oldest land masses which are present in india so when we looked at the himalayas the himalayas are the youngest folded mountains in a similar way we have the peninsular plateau the oldest land mass and this peninsular plateau is formed or comprised of shallow valleys and rounded hills most of the places in the peninsular plateau we find very low depth valleys at the same time we find hills which are rounded or circled in shapes the peninsular plateau is comprised of shallow valleys and rounded hills so in the entire peninsular plateau we find the land which is comprised of or made up of the shallow valleys very low depth valleys and we also have many rounded hills or circular shaped hills and moving on to look at the formation of the peninsular plateau the formation of the peninsular plateau is it is a old crystalline rock structures which have been found because of the igneous and the metamorphic rocks so the old crystalline rocks which are made up of igneous and the metamorphic rocks igneous are the initial stage rocks which have been bursted outside from the volcanic erupted activity and later we have the formation of the rocks so these are also called as primary rocks and later these rocks crack down and break up with the reactions and the process then you get the sedimentary rocks which are secondary rocks and these sedimentary rocks go down and form the metamorphic rocks so the igneous and the metamorphic rocks which are very strong and stable are present here that's why the peninsular plateau is very strong and here in the peninsular plateau we have two major regions one is the malwa or the central highland plateau region and the third one is the deccan plateau region sorry the malwa plateau region and the deccan plateau region the malwa plateau is also known as the central highlands it is located in the central part of india surrounded by the aravalli range the satpura range vindhya mountain ranges and we also have the on the eastern side we have the chota nagpur plateau where the chota nagpur plateau is again surrounded by garo hills kashi hills and the jaintia hills all these reveal for us that in the central part of india south to the northern plains we have the location of the malwa plateau or the central highlands then moving on to the southwards from the satpura ranges onwards towards the south till the western ghats on the west eastern ghats on the east we have the deccan plateau region now before moving on into the deccan plateau region let us learn what are the rivers that flow in this central highlands the rivers that flow in the central highlands are the chambal sindh betwa kane and river narmada also flows through in this malwa plateau region of the central highland region and as we move on towards the deccan plateau region the deccan plateau region is a triangular landmass which is consisting of the meghalaya hills the kharbi anglong hills and also the northern sarkar hills these hills together comprise the deccan plateau region and these are bounded on both the sides by the western ghats the western on the western direction while eastern ghats on the eastern direction and here we find it as a triangular landmass when we look at the shape of india towards the southern side we find a similar shape like the 
triangular inverted triangular shape that's what we call it as a triangular landmass region in the deccan plateau also we find many old rocks that is the reason why the entire peninsular plateau together is known as the oldest landmass let us learn about the eastern ghats and the western ghats if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus